It's a place where hard work keeps traditions alive. We always pride ourselves that we're first generation farmers. Where livelihoods rely on land and sky. And everything's all about weather. Washington's wet harvest bogs near Long Beach are where farmers like Ardell and Malcolm McPhail face environmental challenges head on. This was the driest year that we've had in our 42 years here. They bought their first bog more than four decades ago and built up to more than 90 acres. Hot, dry years make harvest harder, prompting the USDA to launch research into how to protect the crop during warmer years. It's focusing in on volatility on the East Coast, but the West Coast, too, knows the obstacles of weather. 2023 forced many to do extra irrigation. We still had dry spots that showed up that you, that you never had and that we never had before. And other neighbors had the same. Malcolm and Ardell say they're lucky to have water rights to a lake where they can pump out water to at least one bog, but not everyone does. To fully understand why water is so important, take a look at the process. Iconic shots of floating cranberries lead some to believe they're grown underwater. But as the McPhails and their team at Cranmac showed us, that's not the case. The water comes when growers flood bogs ahead of harvest. Then Ardell runs a beater to loosen berries. The water level's perfect for beating. She feels at home in the seat, finally seeing the fruit of their labor, discovering the color of the berries, learning how much they have to harvest this year, after all, a record amount. Then workers gather the cranberries with booms and load them into elevators to truck off to ocean spray. It's obvious how important water is to this kind of harvesting, which is why so many farmers were thankful when they got the late September rains they'd been waiting for. It's not just rainfall that matters, temperatures do too. Malcolm says berries need cold nights to color up to the rich red customers expect. This year we're in trouble because nothing was ready to go. The color wasn't there. We get docked if it's not red enough. Researchers across the nation are studying a variety of questions to protect cultivation of the crop. You would typically not want to be sampling out in the rain like this, but um, needs must. These are cranberries for a fruit rot sample. Laura Kraft is a Wazoo Extension Specialist based in Long Beach, Washington, specializing in local questions. It's definitely a lot of questions right for research. She says other West Coast researchers are working on questions of weather and what the future may bring. Some future concerns that we have about cranberries, we are seeing um, kind of changes in climate, so um, we do see that really dry summers and things like that make it more challenging to do wet harvest. For now, farmers beat the problems by focusing on what they can control. They've upgraded equipment to help when rainfall is low, invested in new varieties of cranberries more resistant to the effects of weather, and most of all, built a team that's worked together for years and knows these bogs well. You know, what makes us so proud of our farm is our people. You know, they're, uh... He always gets choked up talking about our crew. <laughs> well, they make us uh, successful. Despite the challenges, this place is where Malcolm and Ardell feel at home. This is the best choice we ever made, I think, yeah. for, to come here on the farm and build our life here. Their story, their work, a reminder of who we have to thank as we gather around the table this season. For Environment Northwest, I'm Erica Zuko.